Welcome to Octopus Pro, the cloud-based workforce management solution that enables businesses to manage their mobile and fixed location services. Octopus Pro allows you to convert leads into bookings, schedule bookings and field workers, manage and pay field workers, invoice and take payment, send notification and messages to customers, update jobs, track complaints and much more. Octopus Pro works for any service provider, whether it's out in the field or from a fixed location, and covers industries like cleaning and maintenance, trades and services, car detailing, automotive, appliances, babysitting, beauty, massage, personal training, education and tutoring, and many others. It's available on smartphone, tablet, and desktop browser. This product tour shows key features as used by the administrator from their desktop computer. It does not show how to use the mobile apps, shown in other support videos, which can be found in the support section. The dashboard provides us with a quick snapshot of the most important information for the administrator in a quick, easy to see tabular format. The collapsible sidebar has all your key menu options, including inquiries, bookings, estimates, invoices, customers, calendar, field workers, feedback, reports, statistics, emails, and settings. The top metric bar gives you a live snapshot of key metrics like new inquiries, new estimates, bookings completed, and complaints. If you have a question or need support, it is available on the main Octopus Pro webpage in the top right support menu, or just look for the question mark. Also, further explanatory information about particular fields or settings may be available where there is an information icon next to the field. User guides for desktop administrator and app user guides are available to guide you through. You will have to open a new page to access these. Live chat support is available by clicking on the chat bubble located in the bottom left of the support page or any of the pages on the main website. Back on the dashboard in the top right header, we have easy access to notifications, SMS and discussions. Notifications show all alerts that have been turned on in the global settings. SMS and discussions can be accessed below in more detail from the dashboard. Email integration with your company's Google G Suite account is easily configured and allows you to see all the relevant emails in one section, showing new, sent, and received emails. The discussion board shows all new and recent discussions regarding a job which may be between the field worker and the office administrator. Job numbers are hotlinked for easy access and updating. If customers, field workers or administrators need to add some photos or other files to a job, they can click on the hotlink. Photos or other file types can be uploaded from the field or office to the discussion, thereby centralizing all images and documentation. People can be added to the discussion from a drop-down list as required. Upcoming jobs show all upcoming work for your customers by booking, which shows job number, hotlink, date and time, technician, value, and color-coded status. 
For example, to do, in progress, on hold, and complete. SMS messages show all incoming and outgoing SMS messages to and from the customer and may include automated reminders for unpaid invoices, meeting confirmations and ad hoc messaging. Clicking on the view all button will take you to the recent SMS screen which gives you a matrix view of all SMS information, including mobile number, sender, receiver, message, and time sent. Alternatively, you can click on the SMS quick link in the top right header for detailed SMS notification screen. The detailed SMS notification screen just shows another view of the SMS message and if you click on the message, you can actually reply to it directly to the sender. Back on the main dashboard, we have future bookings which can be filtered by color-coded job status or date range. You can customize your own job status and colors too. Mouse over anywhere on the line will show you how much was booked and for what date. Inquiries are color-coded by status for example, inquiry, estimate, booking. Depending on where that inquiry is in the sales process and allows filtering by date range. Completed bookings shows all completed, received and due invoices for jobs. The blue total line shows all completed jobs, whereas the green received line is the subset of those that have been paid, with the light brown due line is the remainder of unpaid invoices. Past bookings show bookings by their customizable color coded status using the general settings settings menu option and are able to be filtered by date. Calendar shows when and who is scheduled for each colour-coded job by status and allows you to drill down into the detail. You can also drag and drop jobs if you need to change dates. Here we have customised our field workers to be called technicians, which is reflected in all system naming conventions. The top five technicians graph will show you at a glance who your best performing technicians are, who is making you money, and how they compare with each other. The view all button in the top right of the graph allows you to drill down further into all of your technicians. The technicians financial matrix shows key metrics like their start date, billings, commission, acceptance percent, decline jobs, completion rate, fail jobs, complaints and the field workers star rating out of five as voted by customers. Inquiries can be automatically logged through the web form we provide to our customers or entered manually. Using the web inquiry form the prospect is prompted to provide some simple information first, like property type, contact details, requested service and products, all from customizable drop-down menus. Once the prospect submits their web inquiry, they are prompted with a pop-up message to add photos to assist customer service or the field worker to create an estimate or quote. 
the prospect can click on the Add Photos pop-up, which opens their own personal limited access inquiry page, where they can add their own photos and edit their details. Photo upload and field worker permission access is customizable in settings. Octopus Pro sends the prospect an automated welcome email with the inquiry details logged as a new sales lead. Follow-up emails, SMS messages and in-app notifications are automatically sent to the prospect as a reminder based on your notification settings. Welcome and reminder emails can be customised and saved as templates with text and images and include a link which directs the prospect to their Octopus Pro inquiry upload page. From the All Inquiry screen, we can drill down into our administrator's view of the inquiry where sales staff can make follow-up phone calls to estimate and quote and update the lead as required. Clicking into the inquiry shows the location and technician's availability. Using the nearest booking feature dynamically shows when and where another booking is nearby in a similar time frame. The nearest booking feature will show available technicians who have the skills to do that job, their schedule and the distance to the inquiry from a booking that is close by. This allows your sales or customer service staff to easily allocate an appropriate field worker based on the recommendation thereby saving you time and servicing your customer faster. The distance column on the far right shows how close that field worker's other job is to this inquiry. The distance below the field worker's name is from the inquiry to their home address. Clicking on the field worker's name will show their availability that day with the already booked time. You can also click on the field worker's Octopus Pro calendar on the right which will open, will show the field worker's Octopus Pro calendar bookings for the month. On the second tab we can see the field worker has a close booking on that day so we can choose to book him in a time that's close to that. From the inquiry screen, we convert the inquiry to a booking and allocate that field worker by selecting Actions, Convert to Booking. In the new booking screen, we can make sure we are happy with the details of the job. We set a date and time that doesn't conflict with the field worker's other booking. Calculate price. Allocate our technician here. And then we save our changes. The field worker will receive a notification on their app and the customer will receive an email confirming the booking time. The administrator has the option of sending the email directly here and making any updates. Alternatively, with Find Availability, you can see all available field workers on different days by going through their calendars. Also, you may find it easier to have the calendar open in another tab with all field workers scheduled listed 
and filtered by a single field worker. Back in the inquiry or booking page, photos can be uploaded either from the administrator or directly by the prospect through a link in their welcome email, assuming that photo upload is an option you have configured in settings. Also in the booking screen, we can see bookings on the Google mapping interface, the customer address, scheduled visit times by the field workers, which field worker has accepted the booking so far, customer information, booking invoice value, and all discussions and communications about the booking. The discussions and activity log shows discussions, timeline of events, call logs if any, payments, refunds, complaints, emails, any SMS that have been going back and forth, attachments, confirmations, history of the booking, and service status. The inquiry page also shows where the source of the inquiry came from, including IP address, website source, and keyword referrer. If the inquiry source is considered spam, you can block all inquiries from that IP address with the click of a button. To manually add a new inquiry, for example if received by phone, click on the Create New, New Enquiry button on the left hand side menu, or click on the top left hand menu, New, and choose from one of the drop downs. Here we have new inquiry, new booking, new estimate, new complaint, new customer, and new message. As you start typing the prospect's name, Octopus Pro dynamically searches for existing customers and will suggest exact or similar matches. This reduces the chance of duplicates, but even if there are duplicates, you can merge them later. You can also do a manual search by using the magnifying glass icon. Octopus Pro supports multiple trading names under your main account, so you can allocate a prospect to whichever trading name the inquiry relates to. Address fields are validated against Google Mapping data and verified for accuracy. Multiple addresses can be used if, for example, there is a pickup address and a delivery address, as in the case of a removals or courier company. Address selections are based on whatever country you are currently located in. Add a service or product from customizable drop-down menus, including additional selection options and sales info suggestions based on your service or product business rules. Mouse over an information button during your telephone sales call to see explanatory information regarding that specific service to find the best solution for your customer. Custom fields can be set up 
which affect the price, so your quoting information is accurate and flexible. Description templates can be configured to automatically appear under each additional item and included in the estimate or quote to be emailed to the prospect. After completing these services and products, it will show you which field worker has the skills and services to complete that job based on their profile. Each field worker's scheduled start and finish time can be independently set, which is notified to both the customer and field worker. Minimum charges for services and products and recommended price alerts can be configured to prompt the salesperson during the quoting process. Confirmation alerts of changed booking times versus system estimated job times can be configured to prompt the salesperson if edits are made to the job. An updated email can then be sent to the customer. When allocating multiple services and field workers, only those services provided by that field worker in their profile will show up in their individual payment reports, for example, in the case of contractors. However, all products and services provided to the customer from multiple field workers are included on the customer's single invoice. Taking payment on the admin panel is easy with the option of live credit card payment using the top six global merchant services. Alternatively, payment can be recorded manually as cash, cheque or any other bank transfer type. Payment may also be taken on site by the field worker using the merchant facility on the mobile app. Outstanding invoice email reminders can also be manually sent and can include a web link to pay the invoice which takes them through to your preferred payment service. The customer will just click on the link and pay through the portal. Using the settings, financial settings, payment integration menu option, you can configure your payment service. Octopus Pro supports integration with the top global payment services, including Square, PayPal, Stripe, WePay, Authorize.net and eWay. You can also configure cash, bank transfer and check as payment options. Repeat bookings are able to be easily set from the booking screen by selecting Actions, Repeat Booking and then selecting a date. So we're going to select next week, repeat booking. This may be useful for a customer that wants a regular booking that can be set on a daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly cycle. So here we can choose the day, week, or month. If we we're going to choose a yearly cycle, we just type in 12 months. But we could also do 24 months or 36, it's up to you. Examples of repeat bookings may be for a weekly cleaning service, a monthly equipment log check, or an annual warranty service for a vehicle or air conditioning system. The benefit of repeat bookings is that if you keep the customer informed through automated reminders, you then can retain them in your recurring revenue cycle. Once the booking has been completed, the customer is prompted to rate the completed work out of five stars across a few customizable criteria. Notifications can then be set to trigger when a rating is received back from the customer which appears in the notifications board.
Octopus Pro allows you to apply labels, set filters and conduct searches to find and manage information like bookings, customers and field workers. Labels are tags that can be attached to bookings that allow you to filter or better group them into similar collections. They are similar to folders, however unlike folders, you can apply more than one label to a single inquiry, estimate or booking. Just click on the Add Label button to create a new label to better sort your bookings. Filters can be applied to your bookings or my booking screen to sort by date, status, location, field worker, label, or acceptance status. The search icon is also a good way to find specific items like a booking or customer if you know the booking number or customer name. The My Bookings menu option will also give you your bookings only that you have created or you have claimed. Also in the booking page is the field worker summary details which is shows which field worker has accepted the job and which has not yet accepted. Also shown is the subtotal value of the job with a breakdown of tax, amount paid and balance due. Octopus Pro can show when your field workers started a job based on their logged start time from their Octopus Pro app. If the field worker forgets to manually start the job time on their app, then the GPS on their phone will also show the arrival activity time. You can also drill down into the field worker's details which shows their customer star rating and below that their profile completeness percentage which shows what actions they need to take in order to have a 100% complete account profile. To set access permissions for the field worker's account, you can use the active and block toggles. Active set to yes will allow the field work technician to log in and see all their information and make changes. If active is set to no, they will only be able to access their account but will not be able to edit or engage with Octopus Pro. This is read-only access which may be required for them to review any tax information but will remain deactivated until the toggle is deselected. If the block toggle is set to yes, it will disable the field worker's login and not allow any access to Octopus Pro at all. From this field worker profile, you can also contact the field worker, do other actions and view their calendar. The field worker profile completeness percentage is a list that shows what outstanding onboarding actions the field worker needs to do in order to qualify for work, which can be customised. Field workers can be contacted by email or SMS using CAN templates or new messages to any or singular devices. These messages may include reminder SMS to join up, sign a contract or a new SMS. Here we are going to remind all mobile devices on this account to sign the updated contract and this is then sent out to them. The Field Workers Outstanding Actions Board shows all major activities that need attention like the field worker accepting bookings, update requests, complaints and decline bookings. Future bookings are easily visible on the map and hot linked to the booking and customer if clicked. 
The booking summary shows more metrics like completed, failed and quoted bookings. Clicking on the metric will take you to that particular collection of bookings with that specific label. Fieldworker communications and activity logs are available in several easy to access drop down tabs including discussion board, SMS log, email log, call log, activity log and login history. All these communications between the field worker and customer go through the Octopus Pro anonymizing system, so you remain in full control of your field worker's interaction with customers at every step. Private phone numbers and emails are hidden, so the only way field workers and customers can contact each other is through Octopus Pro. If, however, you want field workers to be able to view phone numbers and emails, the anonymizing system can be easily turned off. Discussion board's visibility can be set to office only, which is private, or office and technician. You can opt to record calls and listen to calls to find out what was actually said when the call was made from the field worker through to the Octopus Pro customer. Here we are in the Activity tab. In other tabs which may appear differently in different account profiles, there is also the Personal Details tab. It shows all key field worker information, including their bio, business tax status, payment agreements, bank details, signature, Gmail, owners, documents, photographs, and mobile devices used. Payment structure can be set for commission or hourly. Documents may include insurances, trade license and driver's licenses and can be scheduled to alert when they are due to expire. Job settings detail linked dependencies like services provided, working hours, assets held, different type of equipment, products and apparatuses that are used by the field worker, as well as technician flags. Services can be selected as required, depending on the field worker's capabilities and equipment, each with service pay rate, commission and location able to be set accordingly. Adding a service provided by a field worker is from a pre-configured checklist which is customizable no matter whether you provide only a few or many services. Assets can be recorded that are either brought by the field worker and are a requirement for work or that are issued to field workers from company asset inventories and may include vehicles, equipment, product or apparatus. Field workers can edit this information as assets are renewed 
but only if they are given permission by the administrator. Permission to access various functions and views are configurable from the main settings menu on the bottom left margin. Technician flags will allow you to turn on and off whether the field workers can see displayed booking billing amounts and field worker earnings via simple on and off toggle switches. Octopus Pro allows you to easily run field worker bookings reports so you can pay them. Just go to Reports, Field Workers, Booking Summary. We then filter by various items in order to come up with the appropriate report. We want all active technicians here. We want to choose one particular field worker technician, all unpaid to contractors definitely paid by all the customers. We wanted completed booking status in progress and failed together. And we want to start at the start of this month and the end of this month. Here are the jobs the field worker has not been paid for. We can see in a matrix format a complete breakdown of those jobs colour coded by job status including address, amounts, payment type, which salesman made the booking, company share, field worker share and payments already made. The report is exportable in an Excel spreadsheet. The field worker technician share can be edited wherever there is a pencil icon. Once we're happy with the proposed payment amount, we tick like so, and then we can either save as paid, assign as an invoice, modify invoice number, or calculate the selected invoices. Save as paid will allow you to allocate those bookings as now paid where you can either use your own invoice numbers which increment automatically based on the previous one you allocated or you can manually add them or the field worker can send you an invoice which can be uploaded here. A sign invoice will let you sign an invoice to these bookings which you will pay later. It will generate a recipient created tax invoice with all the required information. Calculate selected invoices will add up all the selected bookings you are happy with which may exclude some you have a query on. The payment reference will be whatever you have put on the bank transfer. The general profile is the default calendar profile which holds all unallocated jobs, sets the company default hours and sells all services of the company. It can serve as the profile used by an owner operator in a single person business, but not if there is a team. If you have a team, it should not be used for a field worker as it's designed as the default office calendar. It is also unable to be deleted. All the quotes sit on this profile and all jobs that have not been assigned the general profile of hours of work are the earliest and latest allowable for any field worker so will determine overall company hours. To allocate a booking from the general profile you just have to edit the booking and allocate 
a field worker. All notifications can be simply toggled on and off using the settings option for things like when a field worker accepts a job, declines a job, is running late, starts a job, completes a job or adds a photo. Also for deactivation of services in a city, booking move to another field worker or a messaging notification and many more. SMS messages are easily accessed from one location and can be replied to directly from the admin interface. View the conversation thread with customers in real time and insert links and template responses as required. The discussion board gives you a live view of all field worker discussions and centralises all information in an easy to read conversational feed. Discussions are hotlinked to bookings and are time and date stamped with the most recent at the top of your feed. Reply to a discussion thread from the booking page where all booking information can be viewed and updated. Here we have customers. If you need to have a look at all your customers, you can either create a new customer using the create new, or you can import customers using the file import function. We're going to have a look at our previous customer, Joe Smith. The search function searches across all fields. Here's our customer Joe Smith down here. And here we have the customer uh, details board, which lists any discussions that we can reply to directly on there. Any inquiries that Joe Smith has made, bookings associated with Joe Smith. These are all hotlink. Estimates that have gone out, which you can actually have a look at the estimate themselves. Invoices that have been sent to Joe Smith, which we can actually open. And there's the previous invoice that was done a little while ago for Joe Smith. Any of the emails that have gone back and forwards between the customer and the office. The SMS log that has been sent to Joe Smith and the full customer history. If your business provides services for items that belong to customers, for example, vehicles, children, pets, etc., rather than providing a service to the customers themselves, you can use the customer properties feature to create profiles for items, dependents or assets your customers make bookings for. For example, if you run a mobile mechanic business that provides services to different type of vehicles, you would create a customer property and name it vehicles, and then add fields and questions for that vehicle profile, like make, model, registration number, color, and year. This way your customers can have multiple vehicles or assets under their account and can view the profile and the service history of each vehicle separately. If you have created a customer property, then when adding a new booking, a new field will appear listing all pre-entered properties related to customer so the person making the booking can select from. Customer properties appear in customer profiles, booking forms 
and the customer portal so your customers can add new properties to their accounts themselves and make bookings for these properties. Feedback and complaints can be logged and managed by selecting the booking, actions and add complaint. Select the complaint type which can be customised in settings, if it needs to be follow up and by what date and then all the details can be reported, rectified, view the history, email an acknowledgement, email the field worker who will also receive a notification, pause or resume emails about this complaint and close or reopen the complaint status. Complaints will then be listed in the feedback menu and can be fully managed and tracked from there. To create a service, go to Settings, Services Settings, Services and Create New. When you create a new service, you have the option of creating a free or paid service. A free service may be provided to the customer for situations like service under contract, warranty or insurance where no payment is required but all the other features of a normal booking is required. So therefore, this new free service will not have an invoice. Give it a name, choose Next and select Free Service. When you next need to allocate a free service, it will appear in the Services list. Custom forms and checklists can be created and set to display in different scenarios and can be linked to certain user roles, booking statuses or service types. For example, if a booking status changes to on hold, you may want to ask some questions about the change. Or if you are selling a more complex service that required extra qualification questions, to properly quote on it. If you require your field workers to fill in reports like an inspection or completion report, you can set that up easily through the forms and checklist settings. You can also set up different forms to show up at different services and to show up at different times, depending on the stage the booking is at. Unlimited form elements can be customised with multiple data types like date picker, text box, toggle, drop down, check boxes and several more. You can also require photos to be attached with fields when required. Forms can be configured to display to specific people at specific times, be assigned to trigger on a specific status or attached to a specific service or product. Some examples of custom forms include Why was this booking cancelled? Visibility technician and office When to display What the question was Assign status Here's another example of a custom form. Update booking questions. Octopus Pro integrates with some of the world's most commonly used accounting, payments, communications and marketing applications, including QuickBooks, Xero, PayPal, Stripe, Google G Suite, MailChimp, with more planned for the future. Additional integration with other applications is available via API. 
Integration with MailChimp for the creation of mailing lists is easy and available in the Settings, Communications, Mailing Lists menu. It allows you to create mailing lists from your existing customer base using the mailing list filters. Once you have created your mailing list, you can either download it in Excel file for external use or sync with your MailChimp account. Octopus Pro comes with several add-on options including the Field Worker and Admin app, a branded customer facing app, a customer web portal, and a customer services order widget to take bookings on your website and log leads into your Octopus Pro system. The Octopus Pro Field Worker and Administrator app enables access to your Octopus Pro account to manage all of your key aspects of your field service operations through its live link to the main system. Field workers can be given permission to create bookings, estimates, take payments and invoice directly from the app. If you don't want your field workers to create bookings or estimates, you can disable that in settings. Administrators and office users can also use the app to access the main system and receive notifications on their phone regarding any changes or updates to the system. Octopus Pro can also provide a white labelled customer facing app branded with your business name, logos, colours and slogans all fully customised to fit your corporate image. Your own branded customer portal is where customers can view your schedule in real time, get accurate quotes from your price list, book and pay directly with it all linked to your Octopus Pro system. You can also link the mobile friendly customer portal to your website, social media networks and directory pages like Facebook and Yelp or use the portal as a website on its own. The customer portal can be fully customised to suit your business branding needs, including your colours, logos and images. Your customers will be able to create and log into their accounts, manage their bookings, thereby saving you time and money, and allowing you to accept bookings even outside your normal office hours. Thank you for watching the Octopus Pro demo and product tour. If you don't have an Octopus Pro account yet, sign up today and get a free 30-day trial at octopuspro.com. Any questions you have, drop us a line at support at octopuspro.com.